everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hi there, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. Ooh, for you for April <laughs> 2019. This flopped right out of the deck. It's shine. It's ruby. That's a good card. And that's an excellent card to have flying out of the deck. So ruby is, as I tell people often, it's a love crystal, really. Um, it can also help you have this feeling of being very grounded in love. So the word shine, it can mean that this is a time to, you know, stop hiding who you are, stop hiding how you feel and come on out. Let people see what you're made of. Let them see what you're capable of. This isn't about ego. Okay. This isn't about, oh, I knew it was the time I actually had somebody say to me one time, all I care about Michelle is being famous. Just tell me how to be famous. And I thought, oh, I could tell you how to be famous. I could do that. I could plug into that energy. I have that ability, but I don't use it. Why? Because it's not going to lead to your happiness. As a matter of fact, I saw 20 steps ahead and he was in not good shape in, you know, where he ended up. He would have developed a drug problem. It's not good, right? So we're not talking about the ego pursuits. We're not talking about shining in that way. We're talking about shining because you are having a heart to heart with a love partner. You're shining because maybe you're single and you're getting out and about, but you're not judging yourself anymore, nor are you allowing other people to judge you. And this also means, you know, in, in practical advice <laughs> in your day-to-day -day workspace, not allowing people to keep you quiet not allowing people to take projects away from you. It's that kind of feeling. Again, this is a general reading, so that's not going to be the same for everybody, but let's get more of a story here for you. Let's see what else is going on. All right, that should do it about right there. So the next card you have is Brazilianite Flexibility. So the way that you shine is by breaking out of the mold and taking things as they come, going with the flow, <laughs> right? So if you thought, okay, I'm going to have this promotion at work um, and then somebody else got it, well, you need to be a little bit flexible. If somebody else got it, it was meant to be theirs. So don't sit there and say, oh, that's not fair or that's nonsense. I should have gotten it. That's the ego. That's the ego saying, hey, I feel overlooked right now. You know, you need to you pay attention to me. That wasn't right that that person got it. And maybe that person really, really deserved it. So the flexibility card says, don't get too hung up on what your plan is. You know, the old saying, I don't even need to say it here. So flexible, flexibility this month will get you far. Okay. It will help you find the thing that is right for you that can help you shine. All right. Okay. So the next card we have Okay, we have Master Teacher card, Soul Connection Crystal Lovers. So we had the Ruby, we had a Love <laughs> Crystal come up, and now we have Lovers. So this is a strong connection to somebody. For some of you, it'll burn out fast. Sorry, it will. Um, for others, though, who are actually working on... Okay, so let me explain that. Hold on, let's go back. So people who are doing this, the Soul Connection, you're good to go. You're you're in it, you're developing through each other, you are, you know, supposed to come together at this time. If you're operating from this place, love us. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But you got to make sure you have a connection, like a soul connection. Does that make sense? Because some people take these readings and they just, ugh, they run away with it. So if you are connected, you feel like a soul connection, it's the next right thing for you, perhaps. Um, but I <laughs> Coming back to the flexibility card, you know, not everybody, it's not always going to last forever. Okay. So don't get too hung up on that. Or again, beating yourself up if, if a relationship ends or something and say, oh my gosh, I messed it up. I mess up everything. Don't go into that place. If you are meant to learn something from someone, you will come together and it will be beautiful. Okay. So it's a good energy <laughs> right there. Loosely, we could interpret that 
you know, if we just cover up the lovers part of it, this could be someone coming and partnering up with you to create something really amazing and beautiful. And part of that flexibility is getting along <laughs> and compromising, right? Okay. So then we have hematite grounding. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. So they're saying be very, very grounded <laughs> in these love connections. Don't get crazy, right? So this is also a very, very protective card as well. If I can get the glare off, there we go. So make sure you're very grounded in all of your choices. Take it easy this month. Be ready to have to change plans because that seems to be a theme <laughs> going on here. But also you can imagine um, this reflective hematite around you to protect you so that, you know, if somebody has an opinion about who you're dating or has an opinion about who you are, okay. I can tune all that out and I can get very, very clear on who I am and live for me, right? That's, that's what I want to pass along. That's the feeling that's coming through. All right. So here's an interesting card. This is your color card. It is black, which is also very grounding. Black can be very, very grounding and it can absorb negativity. So it's not all bad, right? But it does say find richness from the dark of night. The number is 28. I think essentially what this is talking about some of you are coming out of things like depression. Some of you are, be careful. Be careful with love partners because your love partner is not there to save you. You're there to learn from your love partners or friends or business partners or whatever the case may be. But this indicates some burnout in a relationship. So make sure that it is balanced and healthy uh, and you're not looking for someone to just make you feel better, to feel whole and complete. I see it all the time. People say, oh, I'd be so much happier if I were in a relationship. Well, okay, that might be true, but with the, the energy that's behind them saying that is almost like I'm not worth anything until someone sees me and wants to date me. Ugh. No, 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 don't do that to yourself, okay? You do that and now you're, at, you're vulnerable. You're at the women will of that person. Um, so for some of you, the light is here. You're coming out of a difficult situation, which is good, <laughs> right? And you are ready to shine. You're ready to let your light come on out. But again, you got to be careful about who you're allowing into your world. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.